Hi, I'm Topa, and today's flow class is all about twists. So if you're ready for some detoxification and to get your digestive juices going, let's get started. for your digestive system, they're great for detoxification, and they can also be really nice for getting everything moving and lubricated within the spine. So we'll get right into it here. So lifting your arms up, and we're gonna start with kind of a ringing, twisting action to help warm up our body with our breath as well. So you're gonna take an inhale, and as you exhale, you're gonna to turn to the right. Inhale, like a recoil, come back to the center, and exhale to the right. So let's do it together. And just twisting as far as comfortable for you, not forcing anything here, just very gentle. Exhale as you twist towards your right side. And as you inhale, let your body recoil back towards the center. Good, let your arms relax down for a couple of breaths. And we're gonna take that same twisting and recoiling action over to the opposite side, your left side. So let's reach our arms up. So big inhale, and as you exhale, turn and twist and recoil back. that your body's digestive system is already going. So as it moves along our colon, it starts at the right and then it goes to the left. Perfect, untwist. We're gonna crisscross the feet the opposite way. Sitting up nice and tall. And again, we're gonna reach up and over as we start to twist to the right side. Taking nice big juicy deep breaths here. Perfect, untwist. And then one last time, twisting to the opposite side. Take the arm behind the back as you turn and look over your shoulder. And just twisting within your comfortable range of motion here. Good, and allow yourself to come back towards the center. Rolling 
onto all fours. So it's very similar to a twist, or it's almost a very gentle, gentle twist as we start to move opposite sides of the body in bird dog. So you're going to reach your right arm out and your left leg. And then tuck into the center and then stretch it back out. And as you tuck into the center, see if you can round your back a little bit, tucking in a little bit deeper, so finding a little bit more room to move as we open and as we close. And let's tuck in one more time and stretch the arm back out. Perfect. Come back to all fours, find your balance, and then we're going to do that on the opposite side. So start with that long stretch out, just find your balance. Just do a nice easy one, tuck into the center, not really rounding, keeping fairly neutral, stretching the back out. And then as you start to feel more warmed up, take that tuck a little bit tighter, rounding your back, tucking your chin down. Stretching out, let's do one more time, tucking in, stretching all the way out, and coming back to all fours. Perfect. And then just sitting back on your bum. As we move into low lunge, we're going to come up tall, stepping your right leg ahead. So just get yourself positioned for a nice low lunge here. Of course, you can tuck some cushion underneath your knee if you like. Starting here as you scoop the pelvis under, let your hips start to open through the front left side. Taking the arms up, maybe reaching up, looking up towards the roof as we just take a couple of breaths here, letting our body open. Bring your hands down to your heart. And then you're going to turn across your body, looking to hook your elbow over your thigh. But don't force yourself here, just wherever it can comfortably get to as we find a twist here. Hands are in prayer. Perfect, untwist. Press into the back toes, lift the back leg as you come into revolve side angle, planting the left hand on the ground this time and reaching your right arm up to the roof, taking just a little bit deeper of a twist. Breathe. Perfect, untwist. Stepping the back leg, or the front leg back rather, and stepping the back leg forward, or your left leg, bring it forward, and take your bottom knee down towards the ground. As we scoop our pelvis, lifting up, open up the front of your right hip, as we come into a little bit of a low lunge stretch here, reaching your arms up towards the roof, as our hip opens, bring your hands down towards your heart, and then you're going to turn the opposite direction, hooking the elbow over the knee as you come into a small twist here. And just finding any amount of twist, whatever is comfortable for your body. Perfect, and untwist. Bring your right hand down to the ground, press up on your back toes, and then reach your left arm up to the roof, giving you a little more space to twist a little bit deeper here. Wonderful, untwist, step the back leg all the way up to the top. Let yourself just hang heavy for a couple of breaths here. In forward fold, relax your neck. Let your body hang like a rag doll. And then inhale, big breath, come all the way up. And exhale, taking a sun salutation in your swan dive forward, lifting your head part way, reaching for the floor, hopping or stepping back, and then lowering all the way down. Inhale, taking cobra or taking upward facing dog, releasing and pressing up and back to downward facing dog. Looking to your hands, hop or step there. Exhale, relax your back, lower your head. Inhale, big breath, come all the way up. Taking another salutation, exhale, swan dive down. Inhale, lengthen, lifting, looking just forward. Reaching for your mat, stepping back to plank. 
From knees or from toes, lower down, elbows wrap the ribs. Turn the toes and inhale, back bend as you shine your heart ahead. Exhale, release and press back to downward facing dog. Looking to your hands, hopping or stepping there. Exhale, relax your back, lower your head. And then inhale, big breath, come all the way up. Bring your hands down to your heart. Inhale, shall the drift. Finding your breath here. Take a big step back with your right leg, turning it flat to the mat. Front toes are pointing straight ahead and legs are fairly wide here. As you bend into the front knee, take the left elbow onto your thigh and really thinking about rolling your belly button open towards the roof. So find that rotation and then take your right arm and reach it over your head. So it's almost like you're looking underneath your armpit. And then we're just gonna find a little bit of movement here. Reach as far as you can with that arm and then start to like make a circle. Come around, bring it down by your hip, and then roll across the front. And as you roll open, find that rotation. Turn your belly button to the roof. Take another circle here. Reaching, opening, finding some movement. And one more time as your shoulder drops, and then roll open as we come over the top. Perfect. Inhale, come all the way up, stepping up to the top of your mat. Taking one sun salutation here. Inhale, arms reach high, and exhale, pour forward, bow your head. Inhale, lifting, lengthening your back. Exhale, reaching for your mat. Step back and lower, keep exhaling the same breath. Inhale, turn the toes, lifting one vertebrae at a time. Releasing, pressing, and finding downward facing dog. Sitting back into your heels, turning your sitting bones high towards the roof. Root your knuckles into your mat. Looking to your hands, hop or step there. Exhale, relax your back, lower your head. And then inhale, big, strong breath, come all the way up. Bring your hands down to your heart. Taking that rotating side angle on the opposite side as we take a big step back with our left leg, turning it flat to the mat. Front toes point straight ahead. Try to line up your heel with your arch here. Bring your right elbow onto your thigh as you bend your front knee. And let's get into the position first. So stretch your left arm over your head. Find that rotation where you're turning your belly button up. Like you're looking underneath your arm and your arm is really long. Perfect, and now we're gonna start that rotation. So roll open, take the arm down, around by your hip, and as you come over, let your shoulder drop, and then turn and open, like you're rising up to the sun, turning up to see the sun, come over the hip, rolling open, find that big breath as you come over the top, and taking one more full circle here, big swoop all the way around, open up, Bring your hand back down by your side. Perfect, and lift to come all the way up. Bring your hands to your heart as you step back to the top of your mat. Taking one last sun salutation today. Inhale, arms reach all the way high. And exhale, swan back forward. Lower your head. Inhale, partway lift. Exhale as you reach for the floor, hopping or stepping back. Melting down. Inhale as you back bend. Lift your chin, lift your eyes. And exhale, press to downward facing dog. Adho Mukha Svanasana. Take your knees gently down to your mat here. As you come in to all fours, we're going to move back to that bird dog position. So stretching your right hand, your right arm, and your right leg out. And if this is a challenge for you, you're going to stay right here. If you're able to, you're going to bend the leg and you're going to start to reach the arm back. And maybe you're just reaching and looking back. If you're able to catch your foot with your hand, you're going to catch your foot with your hand and then open just a little further. So you move to the amount in this posture that you're able to do. Taking one more big breath here. Perfect. Release. Stretching both arm and leg all the way out straight and then bringing it down to your mat. Perfect. Let's go ahead and do that on the opposite side. So left arm, right leg, find your balance to start. And then 
bending the leg, reaching the arm behind. Just pause in there. Decide if you can look over your shoulder. Maybe you can reach and take hold of your foot. And then if you can from there, try to spread it open a little bit more as you twist, breathe. Good, and release. Stretch the arm and leg all the way out straight and bring it back down to your mat. And just take your knees a little bit wide here as you lower your bum back to come into child's pose. Let your forehead come down. And now walk the hands over to your right side a little bit. And your forehead might not come all the way to the ground here, don't force it. And then walking the hands over to the opposite side. Just opening up your side body a little bit more here. And then just coming back to the center. Good, and we're gonna finish class on our backs. So rolling over, taking a lie down, finishing with one more twist here as you tuck your knees in nice and tight to your body. Stretch your arms out into a T. And then we're gonna start with turning to our right side. So keep your knees tucked up and then let them roll over to the right side. And if they don't easily touch the floor here, that's where you want to take one of your yoga blocks or cushions, tuck them underneath. Or in a pinch, your arm works really well, just to slide under underneath your knees if you just need a tiny little bit of a lift. You might also like to take your hand and just rest it, put a little downward pressure on your thigh. You can look towards your knees for a little gentler twist. You can look towards the ceiling for somewhere in the middle or deepening the twist, we turn and look towards our outstretched left hand. But find the right amount of twist for you. Both shoulders aim to be on your mat. If they're not, then you're twisting a little bit too far. So come back a little bit or add some propping. And you should also be able to breathe relatively well. So with twists, your body can be restricted with the breath because we're tightening up and compressing through our organs and our breathing muscles, but you shouldn't feel pain to breathe or a poking or a pinching somewhere through your back body. Just taking a couple more nice deep breaths here, maybe even closing your eyes. Roll back to the center, tucking back on that nice little ball. Maybe rocking and rolling a little bit here. Just let your body get comfortable. And then when you're ready, stretching the arms out as we now twist towards the left side. So tucking your knees up high, let your knees roll to the side here. Taking your props any way that you need them. And then just let yourself get comfortable. As we take a few breaths on this side.
Good, and rolling back to the center. And again, just tucking your knees in for a couple of breaths or if you're ready to stretch your legs out, feel free to stretch them out. And just getting comfortable for a moment here on your back. Taking a few nice deep breaths. Letting your whole body relax. As you thank your body for everything that it does for you day in and day out. Letting go of anything that's not serving you. Opening your eyes if they were closed, just be prepared to come back to seated. Just taking your time here, maybe rolling to the side first, just taking a couple of breaths there, or if you prefer, just take a couple more breaths on your back. And then when you're ready, making your way back to a comfortable seated place on your mat. finishing with our hands at our heart. Thank you so much for twisting with me today. Namaste. Please remember to like today's video as well as subscribe to my channel.